hello friends welcome back to my brand new channel SPS tech and today we are gonna learn about the singleton pattern so as you must be aware the singleton pattern is a kind of pattern that allows one object per class so one object per one object per class okay so we will see in this video uh, how is uh, singleton pattern implemented and and I, I just want to touch upon the basic use where do we use singleton pattern so singleton pattern is used in those places where you want some kind of instance behavior but you don't want to duplicate the creation of instance so you you want to enforce only one instance should be present and through that instance of the class you can achieve the instance behavior maybe maintaining some state for example, I think java.runtime, the most famous uh, library in Java operating system is an implementation of the singleton class. So basically, whenever you do runtime.get runtime, it returns you a singleton object of the uh, runtime class and that singleton object has all the state maintained in, in the runtime object which, ha which it, ha it has returned so uh, again touching upon that singleton method is an implementation to achieve one object per class so now let's see how is the singleton pattern implemented so as you can see in this code that we have we have named our class as my singleton class okay and uh, it's uh, you must be aware it's a basic rule in java to keep keep the file name and class name same so this file name is also my singleton dot java and the class name is also singleton singleton so you must be aware it's a public class why have we kept it public because we want it to be accessible anywhere in the java environment so that we can you know use the singleton behavior everywhere now one of the key concepts while implementing the singleton classes we create a reference of a class in the class itself so since our class is my singleton here we have created a my singleton object in our class itself and we have named it reference and it's private so we we don't want to allow any direct access to this object and we have also created it static why have we created static is because below we have a static method through which we will supply this reference to the callers who, who whoever uh, requires this object through through the static method we'll uh, we will um, send this object out and since this method is a static method get instance that is why we need to create this reference as a static property because then it will be able to be accessed in the static method and maybe modified as well okay so this is the first concept having a reference of the class in the class itself the second the important point in implementing the singleton pattern is keep making the constructor private so you can see this is this is a constructor constructor has the same name as the class name so we have made it private why do why why we have made it private because we don't want anyone else to create objects of our class so if we make the constructor private no one can call, can call the constructors so no one can create objects of this class so this is uh, the second important concept while implementing singleton and when i say no one it means the calling code okay now coming to the third and the most important concept in the singleton class which is the get instance method this is where all the implementation magic happens for the singleton pattern so as told mentioned you earlier it returns of the uh, the types my singleton and what it does is simply it checks whether the reference is null or not we will ignore these two lines for a moment we'll come we'll, we'll touch them a bit later so first of all it checks whether the reference is null or not if the reference is null it simply creates a new my singleton object and it assigns that object to the reference property and then what happens is the reference gets returned so the, when the first time this uh, this um, uh, method is called 
obviously the reference is null so we create a new object my singleton we assign it to the reference and we then return it subsequent times when this reference is called since the reference property is already set to an object this condition is false we directly come to this line and we return the already created my singleton object which was assigned to this reference property now coming to a very important concept which is called double check locking double check locking so as the name suggests something we are doing double we are doing some kind of double checking to extra surety but why do we require double check locking why do we require double check locking in order to understand that there is a scenario i want our users to understand suppose at this li line through two threads t1 and t2 reach simultaneously now uh, you must be uh, aware that java is a language which uh, allows multi threading or parallel processing of of code so it is highly likely that if two callers called this method at the same time both the threads reach at this condition at the same time what will happen then both of these threads will evaluate this condition reference equal to null or not and what they will find it will find that um, this condition is true reference is null since both of them are calling it for the first time and both will get entry into this if block and there could be a chance that both of them create two objects two objects so in that case uh the first thread will create an object that will assign it to the my, uh, reference property and uh, return it but second time the second thread will also create a reference uh, a my singleton object it will assign it back to reference and return it how the reference will be having this having the object which was created second time but this has kind of break in our requirement it has created two objects on the heap it is not just the caller rec receiving a object it is also about you know not allowing at all another object to be created at a heap so in 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 order to achieve it what we do is in these two lines we have implemented double check locking how and um, uh, as you must be aware in in order to control uh, problems occurring from multi threading we 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 generally use a synchronized keyword okay synchronized keyword allows access uh to the thread which is owning the object objects lock which is mentioned in the brackets so here what we have done in these two lines we have called the synchronized keyword it will only allow one thread uh, it will first of all whenever any any of the threads you want to reach this line it will check uh, it will ask the calling thread to acquire a lock of the my singleton node class so if uh, t1 acquires the lock of my singleton class t2 will have to wait it will not be able to acquire the lock only one thread can acquire a lock of object so t1 gets the entry into this if block that is mentioned here it again checks whether the reference is null or not if it is null it creates a singleton object assigns it back basically this is where we use this word double check double check is here and locking is here so it will recheck assign the object and go away two threads will not be able to pass this gate at at one time after that when t2 comes into the uh, loop uh, when t1 has executed t2 t it will release the lock of the singleton object here at this bracket and then what would happen is t2 will come and acquire the lock when t2 acquires the lock it will check a uh, reference is equal to null or not but since t2 t1 has already created an object and assigned to reference this condition will be false it will get out of the if block it will release the lock and it will uh, return the reference which was already created and why we chose to synchronize the dot class object is because our this property reference here is a static property so we want to sync uh, we want our threads to take lock of something 
which is also starting in nature or something which is also one object per class kind of thing in nature and that is why we synchronize on the dot class object which is also one object per this singleton class so in this way you know friends we ensure extra security in double check locking so t1 and t2 one at a time both can't go together and recheck or double check so in this way we achieve the singleton pattern so i'll have uh, this uh, github link for this uh, program added in the description box do watch this video uh, if 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 it is not clear in one time i'd request to watch it two or three times and if 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 your doubts are still not clear do do reply in the comment section i will be more than happy to uh, re explain or clarify your doubts and i request all the viewers to please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel your subscription your likes your shares give me the right motivation to create more helpful and meaningful content for you till then uh, thanks for watching and it is sps signing off goodbye